Good morning everyone, this is Professor Robinson here. Today in this lecture, I'm going to talk about nf kappa b pathway, but my emphasis will be on canonical nf kappa b pathway. nf kappa b pathway, so the first important thing to understand and to know and to have concept of is nf kappa b. nf kappa b is not a single protein, really important thing. And kappa B is not a single protein, but a small family of indiscible transcription factors that operates in virtually all mammalian cells. So, okay, so the NF kappa B is not a single protein. Point number one. Point number two is NF kappa B actually plays an important role in activation and survival of immune cells. So, what it does, it plays an important role in activation and survival of immune cells. I said that nf kappa b is not a single protein. So, in mammals, actually, in mammalian cells, there are five nf kappa b rel members, and they are rel A or p65, rel B, C rel, nf kappa b1, that is also called as p50 and its precursor p105, and nf kappa b2, that is p52 and its precursor p100. So, these different mammalian rel members they form various homodimers and heterodimers so they form homodimers and heterodimers and these homodimers and heterodimers were in the cell they are kept inactive by inhibitory proteins and these inhibitory proteins actually consist of ikb alpha ikb beta ikb epsilon as well as the p105 and P100 precursors of P50 and P52, respectively. NF kappa B pathway is divided into two pathways, canonical and non canonical. Both canonical and non canonical pathways they are based on inducible phosphorylation of these IKB proteins by multi protein IKB kinase that is called IKK that contains two catalytic subunits. IKK alpha and IKK beta, as well as the regulatory subunits IKK gamma or NEMO for NF kappa B essential modifiers. Now, in this slide, I would like to talk in detail about how canonical NF kappa B pathway is activated and how this pathway leads to the uh, transcription of target genes. So, first, for this canonical nf kappa B pathway, a series of stimuli are involved to activate this pathway. For example, pro-inflammatory cytokines such as TNF-alpha and interleukin-1, pathogen-associated molecular patterns that bind to uh, TLR, that is toll-like receptor, antigen receptors such as TCR T-cell receptor, BCR T-cell receptor, and lymphocyte co-receptors such as CD40, CD30, and receptor activator of nf kappa B such as RANK. So, different stimuli bind to their corresponding receptors on the membrane of the cell. Then, what they will do? Then, they will activate this IKK complex. They will activate IKK complex in the cytoplasm. So, then what actually will happen is that the IKK beta IKK beta of IKK complex will be phosphorylated. So, this IKK beta of the IKK, IKK complex will be phosphorylated by binding of the stimuli to their corresponding receptors. Then, when this IKK beta of IKK complex is phosphorylated, then what will happen? So, now I want you to have a look at this, uh, this part here. So, here, as you can see, P65 serial and P50 is in association with IKV alpha slash epsilon. So, uh, what will happen is that this phosphorylated IKK beta will actually phosphorylate this IKB. So, what this will do, this phosphorylated IKK beta of IKK complex will phosphorylate IKB. So, as you can see here, so for of this complex, this IKB is phosphorylated. Then, when this IKB is phosphorylated, then will be it will be followed by the ubiquitination of this protein right so then ik beta ikb B, ikb alpha slash epsilon will be uh, now 
ubiquitinated or protiphosphorylation. And as you may already know that the ubiquitination of the protein is required for the degradation of the protein by the proteasome. So once this is ubiquitinated, this IKB alpha slash epsilon will be degraded by the proteasome. So before when this P65 serial and P50 were in association with IKB alpha slash epsilon, then the nuclear localization signal of this uh, uh, NF kappa B was actually masked. But now when this IKB of this complex has been uh, degraded, now the nuclear localization signal of P65 serial P50 NF kappa B complex is now unmasked. So therefore, the nuclear localization signal is now free and then therefore this prot this this nf kappa b complex p65 serial and p50 can now travel to the nucleus and in the nucleus what it does is that it actually causes the transcription of the target genes uh, ultimately leading to the protein synthesis so i would like to revise i would like to recapitulate this whole description shortly now so what is happening in this canonical nf kappa b pathway different stimuli are they are actually binding to their corresponding receptors on the cell membrane of cell membrane of the cell and this actually causes the activation of ikk complex and the activation of ikk complex is followed by the phosphorylation of ikk beta of ikk complex then this phosphorylated ikk beta of ikk complex actually then phosphorylates IKB alpha of, P, of this complex. When this IK, IKB alpha uh, slash epsilon is phosphorylated, then it is followed by the ubiquitination of this complex. Uh, so, sorry, ubiquitination of this IKB alpha slash epsilon. When this is ubiquitinated, then it will be degraded by the proteasome. And so when this is degraded, so when this is degraded, this is degraded, then we are left with P65 serial and P50. This is a NF kappa B complex. And here the nucleus localization signal before in this case it was masked, but now in this case the nuclear localization signal is unmasked. And hence this P65 serial P50 NF kappa B complex, it can travel to the nucleus. And in the nucleus, it causes the transcription of the target genes and ultimately leading to the protein synthesis. Thank you.